Hi guys, it's Bridget again. Um, a couple weeks ago I showed you how to do animated slideshows using a program called Animator 9, which was downloadable on the web. But uh, some people have Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, and asked if I would show how to do the same thing using that program. So I just got this program last week. It was on sale. And I think I figured out how to do it. So if you'd like to know how to create it, have a look. Okay, the first thing you need to do to make it easy on yourself is create a folder with the photos you would like to use for your slideshow. So I put mine into my pictures. Right click here, click new folder. And I am going to be doing a slideshow with some stained glass that we saw the other day. So I will name my folder stained glass. Okay, and now you need to find the photos that you would like to include. Mine happen to be right in this folder. Just choose the ones you want. Actually, it, for this method, for the fast method, it does make a difference how your photos are laid out on the page, whether they're portrait or landscape. As long as they're all facing the same way, you'll be fine. You can do it the other way, it's just not as fast. So I'm going to pick, I don't know, six pictures that are some good ones. So I'll pick this one. In order to pick multiple files, just hold down your control button while you're choosing. And that way you can just keep picking the ones you want. That's a good one. That's a good one. Pretty. And I'll do this one for now. Okay, once you have them all selected, stay on one of the photos that you have selected and right click, copy, and now go back to the folder that you named, like mine was named Stained Glass. Double click on that and go into the window, right click, and paste, and that will bring up photos that I just copied. Got six of them in there. Okay, you can exit out of here now and go into your Photoshop. I'm in the editor right now and what you want to do is you're going to take the batch of photos that you just put into the folder and you're going to make them all the same size. You can do it one by one but this makes it a little easier to do it as a group. So you go into File down to process multiple files. This is why it was important to have them all facing the same way. It just makes it easier for sizing. Okay, your source is the folder with your photos in it. So you click browse. And here's my stained glass folder and click on OK. Okay, the next step is where the pictures are all going to go. If you click on same as source, it will just overwrite the photos, which is what I want to do, which is also why I wanted to make a whole new folder with these photos so I didn't mess around with all my originals. I'll still have the larger original files. They'll all be safe. Okay, so click on the same as source and that will change the destination folder to the same as your source folder. Okay, I don't rename the files. If you'd like to, feel free. Um, what we're doing is changing the image size. So, you're going to resize the image, make sure that is checked. And my photos are up and down, so I want the width to be 480, because I like doing about 640 by 480s, a standard web size. But since they're up and down, I would like the width to be the 480. So I just type in the 480 here. You can leave the height alone, because it'll constrain the proportions, make sure that's checked. And I leave it at the JPEG, the high quality, because we'll be changing all that later. So then you just click OK, and it'll just take a few seconds here. It'll open up all those files, and it will change them. Here you can see it's processing all the files. Okay, I'll just give it a minute here. Um, these are pictures from our little family trip downtown to Chicago the other day. We went to Navy Pier and there's a real pretty stained glass museum in there so I did take lots of pictures and I tried to explain to Dave 
when he told me I was thieving the pictures, but it's actually called Artistic Inspiration. Okay, all of our photos are in the new folder now, so you're going to want to open them. File, open. Okay, here's my stained glass folder. You want to open them all. Click on the first one. Go down to the last one. Hold down the shift key and then click on it, and that will select from this one down to this one. You can see all the file names are down there. Click on open, and it's going to open them all up for you. And you can see down here the actual size has changed because we changed all the sizes all at once. Okay, now they're all open. You can see them down here. And our next step is going to be to change them into layers. Each photo is just one layer and each is a different file. We want one file with six layers on it. So if you want, it doesn't matter which one you start at, I'm going to start at this one here. You click on it, it'll bring it up into the screen. Okay. That will be your background layer. So that's like layer number one. Okay. This is the second one here. Click on that, it'll bring it up. Now, this is where you're going to want to combine this photo into the photo before it. So, what you want to do, well, you know what, first, I forgot to tell you, you should check and see what this file is named. Up here it'll tell you the file. This one is 7594. I just kind of remember that. If it helps for you, for you to change the name, feel free to change the name. So again, we're going to click on the second one. Go over to its layer. Right click. Duplicate layer. That means you're going to put this layer again somewhere else. Okay. Now it's going to ask you what you want to call it. I'm going to call it number two, just because it's my second one, and the destination, where you want it sent to. And remember how the other one was 7594? That's where we want to send it to. So click on that, and click OK. Okay, so now you'll see down here, this first picture shows a duplicate as the most recent layer, so it looks like there's two photos. Okay, so move on to the next photo, number three I'm going to call this one. Right click on it, duplicate layer, going to call it number three, and I'm also going to put that into the 7594. Okay, click on OK, now that will show down there also. I'm going to do that for the remaining pictures. Right click, duplicate. Four. Okay. And again. One will be five. And the last one. back down to this first one, double click on it. When you come look at all the layers, you'll see all these layers now show up in the layer box.